This is how I made this adorable Easter lantern swag. I got the lantern at a local store. It's sort of like a Dollar Tree, but it's not. It's a lot more expensive than a Dollar Tree. <laughs> I don't know where these people get off. They call it a 99 cent only store and like nothing is 99 cents. But anyway, I bought the lantern there. It was like $5 and then I'm just making a bow. You just make the two loops and you secure it in the center. I'm going to use a pipe cleaner to do that. And then I'm going to put another coordinating ribbon on the top. I got the bunny ribbon at Dollar Tree. I think it was Dollar Tree plus aisle maybe. And then I got the coordinating plaid ribbon here at Michael's. I'm not actually securing the ribbons yet. I'm just kind of holding it there on the little lantern handle with the pipe cleaner. So I just wanted to make some kind of, I don't know what you even call them. They're little tree picks or something. They're wreath picks. They're, I wanted to make these curly Q things. And so I'm just taking some craft wire, which I bought it on Amazon, I think, but you can also get it at Hobby Lobby and most craft stores. It's a really soft wire that you can bend very easily. I'm putting it into this resin glitter tubing that I have in my shop, glamcandyboutique.etsy.com. I have multiple colors and um, I'm gonna make three different colors that are gonna coordinate with this particular lantern. I'm going to go ahead and start assembling. So I'm putting a bunch of hot glue on top of the lantern and I'm going to press down my ribbons. I've also tied all of the little curly cues together. It's kind of like I'm making a little miniature glitter swag here. And I've secured those together with more of the bendy wire, just right around the center and trimmed up the center so it looked really nice and then attach that with the pipe cleaner on the ribbons. And I'm just giving everything a little fluff here. Now I got this pick at Craft Outlet and I usually use it for my Candyland Christmas. So I'm actually gonna take the little tail off of it and it was kind of my inspo for the little curly cues as well. But I want to use that in the middle of my swag, the little bunny tail. I'm going to take these little butterflies that are from my shop, Glam Candy Boutique on Etsy. And they come with little floral wire. They come with sticky dots. You can stick them to the wire, but I'm actually going to glue two of them, one on each side of the wire. And then you can curly cue and bend the wire all around and make a little butterfly look like it's kind of flying around your project. It's adorable for spring. I'm just gonna stick the little wire in there and hold it down until the glue dries. And these are so nice because they add a lot of movement to your piece. They just look really cute because they kind of wiggle around. And I also got this little pink bunny at the 99 cent only store. And I'm just going to attach that somewhere on the little swag. So that's how it's looking so far from the front and back. Now I'm just adding a little fabric flower that I had to give the bunny some support. I do want to decorate the back of the swag. Even if you might not see it, I do like to do 360 sculptures if I can. So I am gonna add some glittery little eggs and then another one of the butterflies to kind of tie it into the front. And then I'm gonna add a little rainbow lollipop. So here's the completed lantern swag. So I actually changed up the back. Don't ask why, I'm just, I'm a crafter. I just mess with stuff. So I added these cute little flower cabochons. I changed out the candy in the arrangement for some smaller eggs and a butterfly. And um, that way this handle is still functional. And here's the front of the lantern. Isn't it just so bright and fun? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Please give it a like, a thumbs up. That helps me so much. 
please share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. I so appreciate the comments. I look forward to them every time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.